Welcome to Counter. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the margin of safety units. In our previous lessons, we looked at the margin of safety percentage as well as the margin of safety value. You'll find those lessons in the links in the description below, as well as other lessons related to cost volume profit analysis. What is the margin of safety? And we explained this, and specifically when dealing with the margin of safety units, this is the sales units that exceeds the break-even units or the units of sales a company can afford to lose before it stops being profitable. The higher the margin of safety units, the better it is for the company because there's a greater gap between profitability and the break-even value. So how do you go about calculating the margin of safety units? Well, it's the actual or estimated sales units minus the break-even units. It's not that difficult to calculate this as long as we are given the figures and you'll see right now as you go through the example. So let's look at the example on calculating the margin of safety units. Here we are. We're told that these are the details in the production department of Max PLC and they are 6,000 units at 160 rand each. That's the estimated annual sales. We've got direct material, direct labor, factory overheads which are all fixed and administrative expenses which are also all fixed. We're asked to calculate the margin of safety units. What is our formula once again? Well, here it is. It's the actual or estimated sales units minus the break-even units. Now, let's go about calculating these two. Firstly, the actual or estimated sales units. Well, our actual or estimated sales units is already given. As you can see here, estimated annual sales, 6,000 units at 160 rand each. So we have the 6,000 units, which is the estimated sales unit. So we're already given that one. It makes our work easier. The only one we have to calculate is our break-even units. If you checked out our previous lesson on the break-even quantity, you'll find that we went through the exact same example. But let's go through it. How do you calculate your break-even units? Well, the formula is quite easy as well. It's the fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. The fixed costs we already given. It's the 80,000 rand for factory overheads, which are all fixed, and 55,000 rand for administrative expenses, which are also all fixed. But now we have to calculate our contribution per unit, which is calculated by taking the sales minus the variable costs, and we will have our contribution per unit. So our sales is the 160 rand, as you can see here. Our estimated annual sales is 6,000 units at 160 rand, so I've put it down here. And our variable cost is made up of our direct material cost of 45 rand and our direct labor cost of 90 rand. And we have the variable cost of 135 rand, which is the 45 plus the 90 rand. And our contribution per unit is the 160 rand minus the 135 rand. And it gives us a contribution of 25 rand. Now that we have our contribution of 25 rand, we take our fixed cost, which is the 80,000 rand plus the 55,000 rand, divided by the 25 rand contribution. And it gives us 5,000 400 units. That is our break-even quantity or our break-even units. Now that we have our actual or estimated sales units and we have our break-even units, we can get our margin of safety units, which is 6,000 minus 5,400 gives us 600 units. Now, what does this mean? Why do we calculate the margin of safety units? Well, we're calculating it because we want to see by how much do our sales units have to fall by before it starts being unprofitable or before we start making a loss? Well, if our sales fall by 600 units or more, then we will stop being profitable. Or if our sales units drop by more than 600, we will start incurring losses. The greater the margin of safety units is, the better it is for the company because the company is able to deal with fluctuations in sales. But the smaller the margin of safety units is, the less room the company has to deal with the fluctuations in sales. So if sales are to suddenly drop or to suddenly change because of an event or anything that might happen, the margin of safety units tells you how much room the company has in losing the sales units is expecting to sell before it stops being profitable. So the 600 units is how much the company is able to sell over and above the break even units. And that is why we calculate the margin of safety units. I hope you've gained value from this lesson. I hope you've learned something. And if you have, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video and share it to those who think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.